Hey everybody, Raphael Harry here. You're listening to White Label American. On this show, we dive into unique and diverse origin stories from immigrants and allies. Join us weekly as we break barriers, connect the past with the present, and peek into the future. Hi, everybody. I am your host, Raphael Harry. Thank you for joining us today. And I have a super awesome, distinguished guest with us today. Hello. But you got you got to speak with, put some oomph to your voice. Say it again. Hello, everybody. That's right. That's right. So, do you want to let the audience know your name? Yes. All right, then please go ahead. My name is Clara. K L A R A. All right. Um, well, I'm, I'm glad you, you spelled it, but um, I, I, you, well, that's good. Well, now you, you've met the, our guest. Um, you know, that's. As she said, she spelled her name. Uh, who are you? My name. Well, you said your name, yes, but who are you? I'm, I'm Clara. Yes, you are Clara. Um, so why are you here? To record video. To record a video? Oh, okay. So... I guess none of you are getting the audio. So go join Patreon so you can watch the video. Come closer to the mic. Okay. There you go. And talk into the mic. Use your Queen Bee voice. Mongol voice. Talk into the mic. There you go. All right. So you're recording all the video? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, no, no, we're not the, mm -hmm, you, you have to talk, talk out. Yes. Yes, okay. So, well, for those who aren't aware or might be wondering, did your host, Raphael, kidnap some kid? No, I did not. That's my kid, the unofficial owner of the podcast. So, little one, do you have some questions for me that you would like to ask or am I asking you questions today? They're asking me questions. That wasn't the deal we made when we left the house. You were supposed to ask me questions, but I can ask you questions. How are you doing today? Good. And you are in what class now? First grade. First grade. All righty. That's good. How old are you? Six. Okay, that's awesome. Did you have a great celebration? Yes. What did you do for your sixth birthday? Play with slime. And the whole group came your to whole, my house. Your whole gang came to the house? And what, what did they do? They played with me. They played with me. I also played with some slime. And who are your best friends? Ava, Dylan, Louisa, Amelie, and Jolene. And Romy. All right. And I know you got a lot of best friends, but that's good for now. So, I know there are a lot of things that you find exciting, such as music, movies, art, uh, superheroes, and a bunch of other cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, how, where do we start? Let's start with superheroes. What are your favorite superheroes? Spider-Man. Gwen Stacy, Gwen Stacy, and Miles Morales are my sp favorite Spider-Mans. Okay, so Spider-Man, 
the Gwen Stacy and Miles uh, Mar- Morales Spider Man are your favorite. Mm-hmm. Are there any other superheroes that you like? Black Panther and Cherry. So is it T'Challa and Black and Shuri Black Panther or just Shuri Black Panther? I love them. You love them both? I like all three of them. All Black Panthers. Okay. What 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 else? Any other superheroes that you like outside of Spider Man and Black Panthers? Uh-uh. Are you sure? You first have to think. Uh, I didn't hear what you said there. I said I first have to think. Uh, how long do you need to think about that? Mm-hmm. Okay, while you're thinking about that, why do you like Spider-Man? Because mm-hmm. when... Stacy has white and pink and blue, and I like those colors all together. And and I and I like them because they always know if somebody's coming there next to them or not. They just use their spidey vision and catch them. And what about Miles Morales? I like Miles Morales because. He's best friends with Gwen and and in the new Spider Man I could see a picture of Gwen and and Miles Morales when when Gwen was where Miles Morales lives in Brooklyn. I also like Miles Morales because he also lives in Brooklyn like me. But, but, but Gwen doesn't live in Brooklyn. But you know. well, yeah, you're right. Miles Morales lives in Brooklyn. So sh- shout out to Brooklyn. How how do you say Brooklyn in for Miles Morales? New York. No, no. When when you say Brooklyn, when you're talking about Miles Morales, how do you say that? Brooklyn. Mm, nope. You're supposed to say Brooklyn. Brooklyn. There you go. All right. So, what about Black Panther? Why do you like Black Panther? I like Black Panther because he could climb and think, get shot, and he can get claws from his suit and scratch, scratch the bad guys and stuff. And I like Cherry because. She has braids and ponytails, and I also wear braids and ponytails sometimes. Oh, all right. And she's brown like me. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. So let's move on from superheroes to music. I know I know some other superheroes that you didn't mention, but we won't dwell on that for too long. What about music? I like, I like Lilo and Stitch. Like, I like the Lilo and Stitch song when it begins. Like that song, because it's Stitch making funny words in this song. Uh, that's a language, but uh, yeah, it's, it's not really a funny song, but it's a cool song. But yeah, it's a language from, I, th- I think it's Maori. Is it Ma- no, not Ma- no, it's not Maori. I have to look it up. But um, yeah, that's not Father of the Year Award. But it is a cool song. Mm-hmm. So Lilo and Stitch don't count for heroes. I mean, st- Stitch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they count a little for you, heroes, because there's these things that are experiments and they try to get the experiment. So the experiments don't do too much things to the world ah. where they live. Okay. 
and Lilo had a sister, and sometimes the sister talk. Well, the sister mostly in the movie tells that she's going to work and stuff. Okay. So, are there any other songs that you like? I like I like songs from Spider Man because there's because they're cool and I like all the songs on my playlist. But the song I mostly like on my playlist is Brown Skin Girls. Brown Skin Girl, who sang it? I forgot. We well, always forget, but you. And how did you come to have a playlist? I I think the about all the music that I love and thought it would be fun if I had a playlist to put my own music on. So I picked a playlist for myself to have. And how did you make the playlist? I, I my dad helped me, and we decided songs that I liked by listening to them, and then we had to find the channel to put the playlist on, and and then we made a playlist. And when I heard Brown Skin Girl, I liked it i wanted and knew that i was also brown skin so i wanted it on my playlist well 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 that's not a true version but we'll take that for now because yeah it took you like over a year before you you signed up for brown skin girl but yeah that's that's more like it and i'm the one who's, whose job it is to build the playlist so you have a playlist on spotify and on youtube but I got to pick the music. Of course. It's your playlist, not mine. I ain't going to give you my playlist. My playlist is too, you know, it's too gangster for you. You know what I'm saying? But well, you, you want, when you, you know, become a teenager, then you can start doing your own playlist by yourself. Get a job. Go start paying for your own playlist. I pay for it right now. So which other songs? Well, well uh, yeah, Brown Skin Girl is by Beyonce or Queen Bee. Mm -hmm. Well, you got to say it so you remember. Brown Skin Girls by Beyonce and Queen B. Or Queen B. Queen B. Or Queen B. There you go. And she has another song. She has like three songs on your on your playlist, right? Yeah. Which other song? Mm -hmm. The one where you do that at the beginning. As a clue, I'm giving you. Power. My power. My power. And in the beginning of the other song, where is it? we're talking about being grown, where the kids are dancing. Grown woman. But they're actually teenagers to me. Well, they're kids. They're teenagers. They started, there's videos of them dancing as kids and as teenagers. And then as her adult self with her cousin, Kelly Rowland. And then what other songs do you like? You have a lot of songs on your playlist. I like the song. Just mention your favorites. If you want to be my lover, that's one of my other favorite songs because I sing it every day. I go in the school bus. And that's by who? By... I forgot. I know. You, like, you forget. As soon as you you put on the spot, you always forget. And when you're at home, you remember. It's by Spice Girls. By the Spice Girls. That's right. And how did you learn that song? I, uh, I listened to it. Mm, wrong. <clears throat> Who introduced you to that song? Papa. That's right. What about your favorite German song? There's this song that I heard on my 
on my mom's phone, and it's called My Mama Hugs Up. It's in German, and I like singing it. Say, say it louder. Sorry. And I, so there's a song that I listened on my mom's phone called My uh, Mama Hugs Up, and I like that song. I sing it at school sometimes. Well, why don't you have it on your playlist? Because you have a different German song on your playlist. I have It's because my mom has already a, a lot of German songs for me. And then I have a playlist with a lot of English songs and one with a lot of German songs. So it makes a little sense when I want to listen to English or German. Oh, so you, you, you have different playlists for different p parents. That's what you just admitted to. All right. She's secret, secret is out. That's what the audience just found out. What about your favorite Nigerian song? You're thinking about that one. Do you need a clue? Yes. Zen. Zen? What is Zen in English? I don't know. Zen vo by Zen. Zen vo by Zen. Nigerian song. Ten over ten. You remember it now? NATO C. NATO C. Ten over ten. Now the audience has been wondering, that's not whiskey or all those Afro beats. No, because that song came from way before Afro beats came on the scene. So it's a classic. Yeah. So um there are some songs that uh, you didn't mention but i know once in a while you, those are the songs that you just love singing from your other superhero who you forgot to mention like moon girl i forgot to mention moon girl that's the one i was thinking i'm surprised that's one of your all-time favorite superheroes oh and so my birthday a, per a kid gave me a birthday card with a Moon Girl sticker on it. A Moon Girl. A kid gave you a Moon Girl sticker? There was a Moon Girl sticker on the, on the front of the card. Who, who's that kid? I don't know. I don't, think that, I, I, I don't think anybody has given you a Moon Girl except me. So don't be giving some kid cred for what I gave you. Oh, look at that. Giving somebody else credit for my hard work. I'm do that. I'm go kick that kid in the butt. Yeah. So what do you do at, well, what do you do for fun? What do you like to do for fun at school outside of superhero and, you know? What I like to do at school for fun is play with my friends. Or see family, sometimes even teenagers, really old teenagers, and we don't have any parents, we're just teenagers. What do you guys do as teenagers? We, we hang on in our beds, we pretend to play video games, because we get to play at the roof for recess, and there's foam blocks, and also we and we always need the foam blocks because Louis is like, we need the foam blocks for the beds. 
and when we're playing RC, we need even we need like even more foam block because then Jolene comes to play and starts being a crazy horse. He escapes, breaks the walls. It's just too crazy for Jolene. So, you like playing pretend video games with your friends? When we're teenagers, we sometimes play pretend video games. Today we played family, and the baby had a loose tooth, which was Louisa, who pretended she lost her tooth because she was a baby. And then she was pretending to throw slime all over the place. <laughs> when I came upstairs from work, I saw slime everywhere, even on the walls. Oh, man. So... You play pretend video game at school as a teenager, but at home, you've only played real video games twice. Yeah. And then you'd be like, ah, I don't want to, you know, it's, it's too much work. <laughs> oh, you are priceless. <laughs> it takes forever for me to get a star map in. in the rocket ship video game. But the first time you played a video game, you you finished it. The the watermelon video game on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So why why have you never played a video game again? Because I was planning to do other things. Yeah, that's okay. That's fair enough. That's a good answer. So. What what else do you like to do in, in the house, you know, outside of playing with your toys? Do you like to garden? Do you like to, you know, read books? Do you like to, you know, cook? Do you like to... I like to... Uh, I like to watch Lilo and Stitch a lot after my dad's soccer is done. Then I watch Lilo and Stitch. I don't have soccer every day, by the way. It's it, you, you're just using recency bias. I was watching international matches recent. That's African qualifiers. That was it. But go ahead, continue. And I also like to and in the morning when I wake up, I get to uh, watch my playlist. Because my dad always puts my playlist on it, and I, when I come upstairs, I see my playlist stitch off. The playlist of always, music? Uh, yeah, but outside of watching TV, what do you like to do for fun? Outside of watching TV, playing with toys, do you, what, what else do you like to do for fun? I like to cuddle my papa. <laughs> uh, you're saying your papa's girl. I like to cuddle my papa. Okay, we, we had that the first time. All right. <laughs> uh, what about your mama? What do you like doing with your mama? I like sleeping on her arm in that time. Mm, okay. Well, at least I have this recording for when you turn 18. So that'll be fun. <laughs> so what, where are the fun places you like to explore in New York City? Or, you know, Br Brooklyn and outside of Brooklyn. Where do you like to go? Pass Meat Park because then there's a lot of pass and, and, and new things to explore. And, and it's fun because then I have my dad sometimes even my mom and dad or one of them okay uh prospect park are there any other places in brooklyn or in new york city that you like to go to the beach because i could find many seashells and other i can find many seashells and also pretty seashells and also seashells that have holes in the middle because then you can make a necklace. Mm. 
she's a necklace. Nice. That's that's that's, that's smart. That's smart. Okay. Uh, outside of Prosper Park, the beach. Do you have a, a particular beach that's your favorite? My favorite beach is um, the one that has chicken nuggets. Because there's a beach with chicken nuggets and french fries. And it has lemon ice cream there. So always when we're done at the beach, I would go to the playground at the beach and get and get lemon ice cream and a drink and then we put then I eat my ice cream and play at the playground. Okay. So uh what about in the city? Do you have a favorite place to go to in the city? The movie theater. Well yeah, we've gone to the, the movie theater uh, uh after I King, always explore new movies. Girl, how many times do you explore new movies? With who? With you. Okay. Most times you go to movie theaters in Brooklyn. I know. Okay. I went to a movie theater next to the park with my mom to see a duck movie. Okay. Yeah, I was asking you about the city, Manhattan. You like to go anywhere in Manhattan? Movie theater. Yeah, yeah. All right. Skip Manhattan. What about the Bronx? I don't like the initial but Bronx Zoo. Bronx Zoo. Nice, nice. That's a cool place to go. What's your favorite attraction at the Bronx Zoo? The Red Panda. The Red Panda? What? Yeah. That's news to me. Why do but, you like the red panda? Because the red panda is very cute, and and it's and it's red and it doesn't and it's not black and white. It's black and red. Girl, that sounds like some something we need to report you to. HR and that's for. why, and that's why I also got a stuffy. Got a stuffy red panda, which is named Heidi. Well, yeah, that was your your first stuffy that you got was the red panda. Who who got it for you? Oma. Who's Oma? My grandma. Where is she? In Germany. In Germany. And do you have a favorite place to go over there? To my cousin Anna's house. What? That's your favorite place to go? That's a, that's a, that's a surprise. Because I always sometimes explore with her. And, and I also like going to other places with her. But, some, but once we were going to a place that was very far, and we had to take, and then, and then she, her, and then, Anna's neck was hurting, so he had to drive back. Have to drive and get some medicine, and it was like strawberry gummies that you have to like lick, and then she had to stay home while I went there. And there was water, and it's good that I brought a bathing suit for the water. I was walking into the water because I. Cause I wanted to wear waterproof shoes, and and so there was this. So pirate. was was it a castle that you visited? No, it was it was like this park, and there was a pirate ship, and you could explore other things there. There were butterflies. Had a little place where you can see butterflies and colored pillars or cocoons where they are in. And, and there was also a big pirate ship where there was a little water slide. And I went down the water slide and it was cold, wet, and some water splashed on my face. But you had a great time. Yeah. Okay. It was very fun. 
and there was this cannon, but it didn't shoot real cannon. Instead, it shooted water. It was shooting water. Okay. So, what's your favorite thing to do in Deutschland? Everything. All right. Everything. And your favorite place to go is your cousin's house, Anna, right? Mm-hmm. So, hanging out with Anna. Okay. No, no, no. no. And I went and we went to we went we went to this playground and and I was climbing up a tree and she was like, How do I get down? You climb the tree? And I climbed the tree and she was like, How do I get down? What kind of tree did she climb? She climbed um, like a normal tree, and she and and she was climbing, and I'm like, "How do I get down?" And then, and then my grandpa had to carry her down. Was it at Uncle Peter's house? It so you had to like, like walk a different way, like had to walk. Right down, and you had to go right. Oh, I don't, I don't know had, what you're describing. But then you had to go down again, and you have to walk a little until you make it to the playground. It was very fun, and I was climbing up all these ladders to to uh, to the top of the slide, and I saw how all the kids were sliding down it and were falling on your bed. I was like. No, thank you. Climb back down. <laughs> okay, I think I know what you're describing. So, where do you like having fun, the most fun at? Is it in Deutschland or in Brooklyn? In Deutschland and Brooklyn. Okay, you say Thai. All right. So, where would you like to visit next? Um, a place you've never been or a place you've already been? So I only went to, so now I know what the park the, that it was called. It was called the Adventure Park. And I only went there once, so I want to go there again. And where's Adventure Park? Well, it takes a very long time to get there. You know? Yeah, where is it? it? Is it in Brooklyn or is it in... In, in Germany. In, oh, so it's in Deutschland. Okay. All right. So you want to go to Adventure Park again. All right. Okay. So. And I went to the playground where I saw the face of a glass elephant. A glass elephant? It was like very big, bigger than me. No. Oh, was it bigger than me? Okay. All right. So. But but we didn't want to go in there because... The sun was shining through it, and it was very sweaty. And and at that and at that one place for play, playground, there was this black thing where you can run down and up. Like it was running up, and then I went back down. It was doing exercise. <laughs> All right, so. Uh... What is your fun, your favorite subject in school? To learn, to learn about words, because then you get better at reading and 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 reading. So is it English words or German words or both words? Both, because we have, so... One classroom is for English, one classroom is for German. And and Dylan's class is 1A and I'm 1B with Louisa and Amelie. Who's Dylan? Because the audience doesn't know Dylan, so you have to let them know. Who Dylan, Dylan is. is one of my friends in kindergarten that was in the tiger groups. And when they were, and, and, the first time we met in the bus, 
That was the, like the first time I went in the bus. And then the first time I met her in the bus, we, we, were, we were having fun together till she was five. We were then like standing on our heads in the bus. Standing on what? On our heads. Because we were like... Okay, you don't have to show me. It's okay. It's fine. I believe you. I'm not going to show you. This is not the best. All right. I'm like, I'm going to show you the little new poses. But, like, I did a split in the air, then kept one foot out, and then the other foot was on the other side of this, like, on the other top part of the seat. Because we both were very flexible, so we both could do it. All right. But so I could we, do it. I could do it the most. And Dylan was like, "You could. You're the only one in the bus that can do that." Oh, okay. So I want to start wrapping up. You've done pretty well for your first official interview because you asked to come to the studio today, and I thought you were falling asleep while I was doing something else, and then you just you decided to wake up and. You're here, so you've done really well. But we haven't talked about sports. What is your favorite sport to do? My favorite sport or sports? Sports. You know, uh, what sports in German? Again, um, I can't remember my Deutsch when it comes to sports. Activity. Like Olympics. My favorite activity is gallery theater because I like being an actor. Uh, yeah, about that. That I don't know if we count acting as sport, but um, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, that's, that is in sports. It's in sports. No, it isn't. Okay. I had it for camp with Dylan, and I was and I was the evil queen of Snow White with uh, Dylan. I, I've seen you act in real life, and I've seen you act in the house. And, I know you can act. And and when it was the show, and the show was my birthday, and I have to celebrate my birthday party there for the day, which already passed, 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 passed. Okay. Yeah, you did good. Um, I saw you perform as the evil queen in was it Snow White or Snow White? Yeah. So you did good at that. But I mean, when it comes to sports, what is your favorite sporting activity? I don't know what you mean. Okay, like, uh, you remember we watch Olympics together. So there was athletics, people running 100 meters, basketball, soccer. Uh, yeah, so what's your favorite sports? Basketball. Basketball. When have you played basketball? I mean, soccer. Cause... All right, well, hold on, hold on. You said basketball. Well, I took you to go watch WNBA as part of your birthday celebration, that which is, you know, part of Father of the Year. So, yeah, but... Why did you say basketball is your favorite sport? I mean, no, 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 no. Don't change your answer. <laughs> Tell us why. Why is it basketball? I didn't mean basketball. Nine, 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 nine. Why did you say basketball first? Because I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> Was it because of the fun you had when we went to watch the WNBA between mm -hmm. Liberty, New York Liberty, and Seattle Storm? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you want to play basketball? You want to try out basketball or what? I have done that in sport, but then the basketball just rolls away while I'm doing it. Oh, when you try to bounce the ball? It what? rolls away. Yeah, you keep bouncing it. <laughs> Hey. I have to go and catch my basketball. Yeah, but you have to learn how to get but, control of the bouncing. But that was in kindergarten. Yeah, so you, you don't... And I'm not doing it right now in sport. Okay, but if you had 
told me that you were interested, then we would have tried to get you a class. You, you never showed interest. Even when we tried to watch the beginning of the, this WNBA season, Caitlin Clark, in Reese, you were like, nine, until I took you to Barclays Center and then you were shouting. What were you shouting that day when we were watching the game? Defense. You got to say it into the mic. Defense. Yes. And then you became a New York Liberty supporter at the end of the game. I said, oh, this is fun. So you, you, you're back on the basketball train. Yeah. Okay. So you, you also like soccer? But I don't know why I'm not in, in soccer anymore. Well, you, you didn't show interest in soccer. You know, you, and you don't interested. like running in the first place. I was interested in soccer. You were interested in playing? Girl, you the like you one who doesn't like running. When they say run, you be like, mm, I'm taking my time. I'm just you know, I'm just you know. All yeah, the kids running. Running. You're like, I don't want to run. I'm just, I'm just you know, I'm just, I ain't feeling this. You know, I. You don't act the right way like me. I, I'm not you. I'm not a good actor like you. So, I, I can't do the acting. Obviously, what 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 is your third favorite sport? My favorite sport is uh, capoeira. Hmm. I was waiting for you to say it. Capoeira. And now I'm not in capoeira anymore. It's not anymore. You you get if you say you want to continue, we'll we'll get you back in it. But I'm surprised you haven't mentioned one spot that you do love. Gymnastics. Yeah. Who's the greatest gymnast that you've ever seen? I forgot his name. Girl, you're always forgetting everybody. You saw at the Olympics. Say it in the mic. I forgot. What is her name? You sure you forgot? Simone. Simone. Simone? Say the full name. Simone? It's the only thing I heard. Girl, so say it completely. Say it with your chest. Simone. Simone. Simone Biles. Simone Biles. Oh, Lord, this girl, you just... Girl, we need to end this episode. I think you're tired. Well, thank you for coming here. I'm confused. What are you confused about? Mm. I'm confused after all the questions you're saying. Well, you did good. What, 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 do you have any question for me? Do you want to ask me anything? What's your favorite sport? Hey, speak into the mic. What's your favorite sport? Really? That's the question you're going to ask me? You, you're in the house. You can answer that question. You know the answer to the question you asked. Take a guess and say it in the mic. Basketball? Really? How many times have you seen me watching basketball at home? Do I watch basketball at home? Uh, yeah, I do watch basketball at home, but not all the time. What sports do I watch the most at home? Soccer. And followed by? Gymnastics. There's a sport I watch more than gymnastics. I watch gymnastics during the Olympics and World Championships. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Karate? Nine. Running? Athletics. Athletics? Yes. I don't even know what athletics mean yet. Mm, you know, I've tried. Yeah, girl. It includes running, on sprints, long distance running, jumping. Yeah. So. Oh, any more questions? 
my dear favorite place to explore. My dear favorite place to explore. Hmm, that's a great question. Um, do you mean in Brooklyn or anywhere? Anywhere. Anywhere. What's my favorite place to explore? Anywhere. Um, that's actually a good question. Anywhere. Got to narrow it down somewhere. Uh, if it's in Brooklyn, that's, I'll say Prosper Park. Well, well, not just the neighborhood because it's always changing because they're always building. There are new buildings coming up and their you know, old stores keep leaving or closing. So there's always something new popping up in the neighborhood. So we keep losing. Um, yeah, we keep losing restaurants and stores in and the area. They make it something else which could also be fun that's right so yeah it's always nice to explore the neighborhood you walk to streets that i haven't walked up to in nice to go to other places where you've never been Mm -hmm. and you just found out that you could go there well yeah i try to every now and then to get my ten thousand steps um if it's then it's good to go to cities that you haven't been to in a while. So, like, you know, I was in D.C., Virginia area. I told you I used to live in that area way before you were born. Your grandma, Emilia, lived in that area, and we still have family there. So I was there about a few weeks ago for a podcast conference. And How many steps? How many what? How many steps? Oh, I didn't walk from Brooklyn to Washington, D.C. Hell no, girl, what are you talking about? <laughs> no. No, how many steps? Oh, how many steps do I do in the area? I try to do 10,000 steps, a minimum of 10,000 steps a day. 10,000 steps? Yes. Girl, if you're playing sports, you do more than that. So, yeah. How much? When you, you, when you, you get a little bit older, I'll, I'll get you... A watch that can tell you how many steps you're taking in a day. With my grandma and grandpa, they have a phone telling them that. And it's so hard to know which one's which. Because they're both the same. <laughs> they both have black colors. Uh, they, they know which is which. I get confused. Don't worry. I should put stickers on the ones. Yes, <laughs> that's a great idea. Don't you know that that one's mine? Yes. And not get confused with Opas. Okay. That's an Opas. Here we go. This is mine. So, do you have another question? No. Okay. So, should we end the recording here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Did you have a good, a good time? Yes. Would you like to, to do this again? Or should we wait for one year? I want to do this again one. I want to do this again one day. Okay. So, first of all, thank you for coming to the studio and sitting down with me. I had a great time interviewing you or chatting with you. It's more of a chat. And it was my honor to have the one and only Clara. I can call you K Dot because you're one of the K Dots too. You know, you'll be killing it. So, yeah, you're, you're, you're all right. You're all right. You know, you're not bad. For a kid. Yeah, all right. You're a good kid. Well, you give me hell at home, though. But yeah, all right. So, good job, kid. And to the audience, thank you for listening. Those of you on Patreon. Have a good day. Hey, you heard it from her. Thank you for watching. Keep the love coming in. If you're not on Patreon, hey, join us on Patreon, man. You can watch these episodes. You know, it's all for you. So, keep the love coming in. Share, love, subscribe. Hey, um, Apple Podcast is now everywhere. So, Send the reviews in, all right? Keep the heart with you. Oh, yeah. Like she's giving you love. All right. She's sending the love in. She likes you all. So don't, don't, don't make her sad. You can send donations. Keep the support coming in. So, yeah. All right. See you at Afros and Audios, too. Bye. Toddles. Thanks for listening to White Label American. If you enjoyed the show, please give a five-star review on your favorite podcast app. You can follow the show on all social media platforms. Visit the White Label American website for links for donations, episodes, feedback, guests, merch, and newsletter. 
Don't forget to download the free White Label American app on the Google Play Store and Apple coming soon. Thank you for the privilege of your company.